Okay, I have now received this package and I want to open it and see what is inside. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. What is inside here? Let's just bring it out. Okay. Oh. What is this? Ooh. Oh. That's a bother's uh, cute turret IP set, which includes four high quality bother classic or uh, IP sets, 16, 18 orthos and 32 millimeter plus hole, plus the uh, cube uh, Barlow 2.2x, uh, which is this one, and the most important cute turret quad IPS revolver, that is the one on the back. This is at least 200 pounds new. Uh, the price has fallen recently a little bit. That is 160 something when you add the cost of post carriage. Uh, it will be included to around 170, 75, something like that. So I got it, uh, and now let's see what how it looks inside. Who's this quality? Oof! Another box. And this box. I love the tin box. You can see the through the clear plastic. What is inside? And what is inside is delightful. First, you see this foam protecting it. This foam looks new, so this product is new. About a second hand, but it's almost like new. And uh, this is the Barlow lens. This is the 32 millimeter orthoscopic, uh, no, plus lens. Oh, look at that lens size. That's amazing, big. Oh, I like these eye cups. They're really good. This is the turret, which includes the three eyepieces. What is there more? Oh, we have the lens caps, well placed. And we have this nose piece for the telescope. So everything you see in this table is what it is included. This is the turret itself, as you can see. It's made of hard plastic. So it's lightweight, it will not affect the thing. And uh, obviously you can turn it around. You can see there is a locking mechanism that you can turn. This is the 6mm one on its own, 6mm ortho. This will cost you on its own around 70 pound. Volcano top, that's the shape of the lens. And of highest quality, ortho. Orthos are really good because they have the lowest possible elements, uh, optical glass, and they are able to provide a very good view. This is a 10 millimeter one. On its own again, around 60 to 70 pound. Uh, this is the 80 millimeter one, which is really good. And this again, 18 millimeter. And again, on its own, is around 60 70 pound. So up to now, we have 360 180 pound. And the Barlow cost around uh, 40 pound. So 250 if you buy them individually then you come to the classics uh, plus 32 millimeter on its own it's around again 40 50 at least so you can say that you have around 300 pounds here just in the form of this eyepiece and barlow then you have the turret which is around uh, 47 pound 50 pound so 350 this box on its own is on sale so you can buy it for around 
um, 30 pound and or 18 or 20 20 30 pound no, 20 so say 20 370 pounds so far and I bought this for uh, 130 pounds so that's a good bargain there it's on sale you can buy it now from a few outlets uh, the whole set for around 100 67 then you add the postage it becomes 175 again yet it was cheaper to buy it second hand i just i'm trying to see if this has any issue or not no absolutely no problem uh, the, the attention to details is very interesting here you can see this is made of plastic of course if you put a metal screw to it it will gradually break the plastic so what they have done here they put a um, brass ring that the metal screw actually moves inside that so it's nice touch the same here and yeah it looks interesting everything go right the lenses really look impressive and i'm just looking forward to test it Take a few photos, then you can go and test. Uh, yeah, our, uh, our telescope cookie box with our cookie jar. Okay, now I've uh, installed the Q turret, butter Q turret with four eyepieces. They're really light, and uh, the view is really clear. I'm looking at the Star Procyon, and I like what I see. The air is quite turbulent. Uh, storm after storm comes and passes over the UK, so practically everything. You see it's turbulent beside the telescope also which needs to acclimatize but anyway this is what you can see this is the star procyon this is the plus hole so if i try to change it to 18 millimeter eyepiece what i have to do is just to take it and turn and the next thing is that I'm looking at, instead of 32, I'm looking at 82 uh, um, millimeter eyepiece. Okay, the good thing is that everything here is parafocal. So when I've changed from this to this, I don't need to change much the focus. But one problem immediately notice is that when you change, for example, from this to here, okay, you put your eye here, your mouth will be here. And your nose will be somewhere in here so there is a risk that you actually be there with your mouth or with your nose actually you touch the lens so that can be a problem of course you can remove this at any time you want and keep it empty and beyond that uh, i don't see any real problem uh, i wish it was uh, available for Binary viewer, but it's not so that's that's the way it is. Binary viewer, how you can fit a binary viewer into this, binary viewer into this mm -hmm. challenge. But anyway, uh, this is really lovely. I like it, I'm going to use it, and uh, I will try even to use some other eyepieces to see how they will perform on this. But so far, so good.